Hello guys and welcome to our channel. This is Paper Rule. In today's video, we are talking about Jade Bots, the last mastery track for End of Dragon. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. So, site massively OB just dropped an article talking about Jade Bots in details. And first thing you need to know, it has three equipment slots, one power core, and two modules. The better the power core is, will allow the Jade Bot to do better things. First, it increased player vitality, as they said here, which I'm not sure if that's gonna be a permanent thing. They like they literally making us more powerful in open world PvE or wherever the jade bots will be used, and most likely it will be only in open world, not an instant content uh, like um, raids and stuff like that. And the modules will make you choose unique things that the jade bot can do. They said here that it will either speed your skiff or increase your mount's energy. And even increasing the skiff speed will maybe compensate for having no friends and running around with your boat by yourself, which is amazing. You can change between them at least whenever you want. And both power cores and module can be crafted, but we don't have any details on how this crafting gonna work yet. And there was no cosmetic option, so there is no customization for how the jade bot look, but I think, and I agree with the article here, that it might have uh, customization appear later right now it's not yet released and it will be a missed opportunity honestly if they didn't make us able to customize the jade bot we can customize the mounts we can customize the skiff we should be really able to customize the jade bots too however also the jade bot will have functions depending on the progression level of the mastery itself so you will keep have more abilities uh, more level in the mastery and you can't also spam the skills that the jade bot have he have simply something like charges so i think it will be an ammunition system as it said here and you have to charge those skills through jade batteries and they are scattered throughout the world i do not know if they're gonna add this to Corteria. i don't think this will make much of sense because all the technology is revolving around cancer so maybe if the story justified it they will do it or we will be able to charge the skills only through cancer and blaine like only in the new maps so um, there's no explanation to this part uh, so what we're gonna see i guess we're gonna have to wait either they tell us in the stream next stream's coming or if we're gonna have to see for ourselves when the expansion is released so the first mastery line will give you gliding booster it's called gliding booster that's actually its name and it will allow you to do the things that you see in the um, trailer when you get to glide upward like a little bit of a boost like an updraft which is a nice thing so um, if you have a sky scale or a griffin you usually can mount up in the air and you end up uh, using it more than gliding if you're out of combat if you're not getting hit in the sky so you can't mount or something like that so having access to more functionality and more mobility is still good even if you have the mount at least that's what i think the second mastery called multi charge and it will increase the charges that it can carry as skills to four so you would have be able to use the skills four times. The third one is called JTEC Waypoint. And yes, exactly like you've seen in the trailer, you can summon a waypoint. I was so confused watching that trailer, honestly, at this point. It was like, it's literally a waypoint. Why did it look the same? And I know a lot of people was confused, probably like me. You can summon actually a waypoint that you can teleport to, like any other waypoint in the world. But I don't know how long it's going to be lasting or something like that. They did not uh, tell us much about this because this is insane if we can just keep summoning waypoints. If it's like one and it's as long as we put it somewhere, it will stay there until we change its location. I think it's not really a big deal, but it's really, really amazing it's something i wanted in the game since i first played it years many years ago because i came from other mmos that have this idea of setting up locations to get back to and even breaking the rules through methods like this and guild wars never had it so now we have it i guess and the fourth one called energy efficiency and it will increase even the chargers more so i guess we get to have five not only that it allow it to gather two charges at once from battery so every time you use a battery you would get only a single charge if you have this mastery if you leveled up to five you can carry two charges each time and also will gather a charge while riding zip line it's like this new movement thing that you have seen in the city which they uh, describe it here as a new jet but powered point to point travel system and the developers converted to jumping mushroom and the last thing is the rescue protocol which allows the jet bot to actually rescue and it work similar to 
how a ranger bit work the skill liquid that rangers have while down stated it will work exactly the same and they have some other things to do also jet bots have and they have also other things they can do so you can walk up to a terminal across the city something uh, like in kining city you can walk up to a terminal and you have a direct control over the jet bot and you can fly around the city freely like a drone and you can explore it in a whole new way it's like when you go to a vista and it show you a specific location from every angle but it move you exactly the, in the same method I guess you would have a free control and you can explore like the whole city. I think this is insanely good. Like Guild Wars 2 has always been a game about more than just gameplay or fights or gold making or something like that. It's also about exploration. Uh, sometimes even photography. A lot of people like to take photos, um, films those videos of vistas and stuff like that. And this way we would have even a whole new method of exploring uh, our surround. I wish we can do that in most maps, not only in uh, the new maps. It would be really great if we could do that, but it's it's just good to have anyway. And also there is some solving puzzles with free flying bots, which is, I guess it's something. I don't know how they're gonna do that. What's mean solving puzzles? Like there's puzzles across the city. This is uh, a bit of a mystery to me. But here you go. This is the Jade bot and it is honestly delivered really really good on what i think um something to add up in the game i think in every expansion they need to build on the last one not just top it off because whatever you add would already add to the experience having gliding and mounts is really great because you can leave the mount and continue gliding to an area you don't have to fall even if you're down from the mount which build on each other and now we still have the mount and now we can add to them being better we don't have to neglect an old system we can simply add to it and that's what we have through a progression development style and they did but do exactly that through the mount through the waypoint system through even speeding up the skiff so even different mastery will work really good together so tell me what you think i hope you like it and find it informative and i'll be seeing you next time peace